can always count on England to change his mind about the weather at the very last minute. Soaked. This has become a very last minute trek. I'm out here in Edale and the aim of today was to hike up to the Great Ridge, sit on Mam Tor. I brought my chair that's still in my car with me and everything. Brought my camera, my tripod, some hot coffee in my bag and I was going to take pictures of the sunset. That was the plan. However, the weather decided to... Yeah, you can't really take pictures of the sunset when you can't see the sun. Now, a couple of years ago, such a little thing might have upset me. I might have been in a bad mood, and I'd just gone, oh, screw it, wasted a journey, and I'd have driven home. But while I'm out here, there's still a lot to do. This is where I first fell in love with hiking. It's probably because it's the hiking capital of England. All the great walks start from here or finish here. So I thought, while I was out here, let's go have a hike. <laughs> ended up in this beautiful little forest. It's a really nice place to walk around here. It's a good place for everyone. You can come out here and you can start the Pennine Way. That'll take you between two to three weeks. You can come out here and just say, oh, I want to go up Kinder or up, well, any of the peaks around here, Mam Tor, Loose Hill, Wind Hill, and that could take you anywhere between three to eight hours, depending on the trip you want to do. Or if you come in for just a short walk or you've got young kids with you, there's little hikes that take anywhere from half an hour to two hours, depending on their age. You can get it all out here and it's just so beautiful while you're doing it. As you might have been able to tell from that video, it is so peaceful out here. And there's a number of reasons for that. One, it's a Monday, so everyone's working in the city. Two, it's Edel, and it's always quite quiet out here unless you come out on the weekends. And three, and this is the big one, the weather is rubbish! And I've been looking forward to that. I've been looking forward to this rubbish weather. Like, don't get me wrong, hiking when it's nice and sunny, it's nice. It's easy, but it's hard to regulate your temperature, and that sounds weird. But when you're hiking, you're going up hills, you're, you're getting a sweat on, you're always moving. So when it's boiling hot, you get very hot very fast. You have to take a lot of breaks. You have to find a lot of water supplies. You get out of breath. Oh, you see where I'm going with this. The perfect hiking weather, it's always been said, is when it's kind of like nice and cool. I'd say in England, if it was like between 10 and 15 degrees, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that's what it is today. I've especially been looking forward to coming out here and camping when the weather's maybe even a bit worse than this. Maybe when it's snowing. But I love the sound of rain on a tent. You'll hear people say it all the time, people download apps that have got different sounds of rain hitting the outside of tents so they can fall asleep better. It's so cozy, it's so lovely to hear. And that season is just about to begin. 
let's head back down. And we're back in the car. Any day can be salvaged, and this one was definitely salvaged. I'd hoped to spend a couple of hours chilling and getting some nice pictures, but instead, I had a nice hike. And now it's got me thinking about when I want to come out next, what the weather's like for the rest of the week, can I get a camping in the rain? And I think it's plausible. We're getting into rainy season, so I'll keep my fingers crossed. Until next time, peace. <laughs>